welcome back to my channel. So I was just sitting here and this is a story I've been meaning to tell you all for a little while and I thought let me just share it now. So this is just a really chilled video. I don't know how long it will be. It's not the longest story. Um, you can see what it's about from the title of the video and it's just to share with you that like angels, spirit guides, all of those things, they are absolutely real and I want to give you some validation and um, yeah, some evidence. I feel like a lot of the time when it comes to spirituality, a lot of it's in the unseen and so it can be hard to believe, you know, a lot of people don't talk about that but, you know, faith can be hard to build because a lot of the things when it comes to spirituality you can't see them, <laughs> you know? And angels, a lot of the time, is something we, we, we hear about, um, archangels, spirit guides, but how often do we see them physically? And in our human form, it's hard to believe things that we can't see. So I want to share some evidence with you that may help you to build on your faith and uh, strengthen your faith. So here we go. Get a cup of tea and snuggle down. So, a lot of you will know if you've been following me for some time, I have a boyfriend, a partner. We've been together since we were 16. I'm 30 now, so that's like over half my life. Unfortunately, when my boyfriend was 16, he was stabbed and it meant, obviously, he spent a long time in the hospital. It was very, very touch and go. It was a very, very hard time. Um, and actually, no, he wasn't 16. He was 17. Did I say he was 16? It was around those ages. Actually, yeah, he would have been 16. He's a bit younger than me. Um, so yeah, he would have been 16, I would have been 17. Um, it was, you know, it, it was, it was a scary time. It was a very, um, touch and go time. Let's just put it that way. He was in the ICU, which if you don't know what that is, it's intensive care. He was in there for a, probably like, a month and a half he's a fighter like he's one of the strongest people that i know um he recovered in my opinion in like record time considering the depth of what you know of how bad it was anyway so one day and let's get into the story <laughs> one day i i went to the hospital every single day um and one day i was at the hospital and at this particular time, I can't remember why, um, it had been decided that we couldn't go into the room to see him. I can't remember why, but we couldn't. And I can just remember standing at the door of the ICU, just literally just looking and I couldn't see him. I was just standing at the door. Like there was family around and they were there and I was just standing at the door. Anyway, it's so hard to describe it, but out of nowhere, like, there was a lot of people around, like in the corridor, in the hallway, but their voices and the conversations, they started to mute. It was almost like they became background noise. So it was like I could hear them and I knew they were there, but I couldn't hear them as loud as they were before. And it was almost like everything around me, like in front of me, to the side of me, behind me, went white and blurred out. It was like everything just kind of became a background vision. And out of nowhere so i'm facing this way so let's just say i'm facing this way now i'm looking at the camera out of nowhere this lady comes from behind me i don't know where because i'm still i'm looking into the doorway and she just stops in front of me and i'm like never seen this lady before in my life <clears throat> never everything else is blurred out i feel like people are there but maybe they can't see me and i can't see them i don't know it's a weird weird thing anyway this lady comes in front of me and let me tell you something right now. This lady was the most beautiful person I feel like I've ever seen with my own two eyes. Her skin was flawless. And when I say flawless, I don't mean just like, I mean like, you know, like when you Photoshop, when people Photoshop their pictures online and you see them and you can tell it's Photoshop. Her skin, there was not a, like, it was just, mm. it was like golden brown. It was literally glowing. She had the brightest brown, like, hazel eyes. They were light and they were, I can see her now. Her hair was like, like, she had curly hair, but it was like 
the most beautifulest curls she looked so healthy her hair was like a golden brown like a golden blondie brown and she was wearing like <clears throat> i guess you could call it like hippie clothes she looked like a woman she was human okay oh it's just gone five by five angel numbers i see you um okay so this woman just appears in front of me like literally out of nowhere okay and she says to me I don't know this woman, bear in mind. She says to me, is that your boyfriend in there? And I'm like, and to be fair, actually, at this time, I'm like thinking nothing of it. I'm like, yeah, it is. She's like, he's gonna be fine. I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, he's gonna be fine. Um, I can't remember the exact words for me. It was more like her energy and her aura. And she just kind of stared at me and I was like, okay and then she said do you know where blah 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 is i can't remember what she asked me for she said do you know where this place is and i was like no i don't sorry and she disappeared she disappeared like i was like okay no sorry the it's like it's it's so hard to describe it it's like someone went action and i could hear everyone around me it wasn't blurred out anymore and she was gone and i was like i was like did that I'd never mentioned this to anyone. The only person I ever mentioned this to was my boyfriend. And I feel like I didn't actually mention this to him till literally like, probably like recently. And it's something that stuck with me. It's the only time I've ever really, from what I can remember in my life as an adult, met an angel or seen someone in physical flesh. I've definitely seen them through my third eye and through dreams, but I've never, that's the only time I've ever seen an angel in real life. And it was literally a matter of seconds. She just came, boom, and gone, boom. And I was looking like, cause this was a long hallway. Like she could not have just, like, you know what I mean? She could not have just disappeared in that amount of time. She was just gone. And it was like, what? <laughs> I have to know, has anyone else experienced meeting who they deem to be an angel in real life like that? Because it's an experience that honestly, I feel like, have, has anyone experienced this? Like, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you because the reality is, is that I feel like we have this perception in our minds that angels have wings and definitely, they definitely do. But also to communicate with us on a human level and to meet us on a human level, I feel like sometimes they have to come to us in human form. And that lady, whoever she was, definitely did. She was an angel. I know that for fact she was not human <laughs> like she she came from spirit um and my boyfriend was fine you know he was fine he is fine he's healthy living fit um so yeah i just wanted to share that because it's been something i've wanted to share with you actually for ages and ages and ages and i feel like it's a nice story to share to just deepen faith and validation and to let you know that like we are always guided people are always walking with us even things we can't even you know people and entities that we can't even fathom from our human mind are watching us and walking up with us and watching over us and I just wanted to share that because sometimes we just need a little bit of like spiritual validation and evidence so yeah it's a short story it's a really short story and it's hard to depict and to tell it is one of those things you kind of you know I can't really take it out of my mind and share it like word like essence for essence so I hope I've shared that in the best way but yeah it really was like someone just went cut and it was just me and this 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 lady and then someone went and action and then life started again it was like life paused it was literally like life stopped around me and this lady was just in front of me and then action and she she was gone like i what i would give to experience that again universe can you give me another experience like that i would love that and i would love to hear if you've experienced anything similar if you feel like you've met an angel or anything i really would love to hear because again it's that validation and the evidence that helps us deepen our faith so i hope you've enjoyed this little story time um and yeah hit a lovely thumbs up if you did remember to subscribe if you haven't already to join our lovely community because i post spiritual and psychic content just like this and i will see you soon for another video lovelies bye